Today we are going to demonstrate how to work on a balance sheet question in an exam. The first, you read what is required. Using all the information provided above, prepare a classified statement of financial position balance sheet for Pauline Cook in vertical style as at 1st of January 2018. Use the order of permanence in classifying assets, showing the working capital clearly. Round off all workings to the nearest whole number. Simone Cook is producer of natural juices on 31st January 2018. She provided the following information about her assets and liabilities. Now, once we know that it's a balance sheet that we require, as we go through these items here, we should write out what they are. Okay, so the inventory of frozen beverage on hand valued at 50,000, we know that is a current asset. Simon Cook owns an industrial blender valued at 200,000, that's a non-current asset. A delivery van was bought at, at a total cost of 140,000 on 2 January using a six year piss. 20% per annum loan of 6,000 from optimum beverage, right? So we have a non-current asset and a long-term liability. T farmer who promised to supply some apples for the apple nectar blend was paid 9,000 in advance. And this is a prepayment on the current asset. Simon Cook owns refrigerators valued at 95, another non-current asset. Health food store was supplied with products on credit valued at 10,000. The company promised to settle in March 2018. So health food store is at that uh, current asset. Rent of 20,000 is outstanding, the current liability. Ultimate Muscle Builder Limited owes Simone Cook 15000 for products used to host an exercise symposium. That's another data current asset. Simone Cook holds 18000 in cash in bank, and that's current asset again. The additional notes, interest charges on the loan from Optimum Beverage Finance Limited have not yet been paid for the month of February. So we have a current liability and we need to work out the amount of the loan. So we have 60,000 by 20% divided by 12 equals 1,000. Simone Cook has decided to depreciate the delivery van using the straight line method of depreciation. She expects to get eight years of service from the van, at the end of which she anticipates she can sell it for 12,000. You are to account for the month of January depreciation, okay? So the rule for straight line depreciation is cost minus residual value divided by the estimated useful life. Uh, that would be depreciation would be equal to 140,000 minus 12,000 times cost minus residual value. And we divide it by it. We, the estimated useful life, we get 16,000 per annum. Then to find for one month, we take the 60,000 and we divide it by 12 we'll get $1,333 per month of depreciation, okay? Now, the reason for doing that is that when you doing a balance sheet problem, the you gain marks for having the right assets under the headed correct heading 
Okay, so you'll get marks for having these headings. On the current assets, you should have these assets. On the current assets, we should have these. On the current liabilities, we should have these. Okay, that's what you get marks for. So after you are finished doing your workings here and you have um, all your headings laid out here, this may take you a while. I don't panic because writing up this uh, balance sheet is only going to take you not as much as 20 minutes. So once you know where everything goes, under what heading, you have no problem and you write it up like this here. Simone Cook. Statement of financial position as at 31st January 2018. Right, the done current assets. We let's look for it here. Cook owns a blender. Are we going to put them in the order of permanence? Right, so um, I don't know. Perhaps a refrigerator is more permanent than a van or industrial blender that okay but this is should be in the order of permanence current assets same the descending order of permanence and then you just fill in the amounts okay we have to remember the working capital is the asset current assets total minus the current liabilities total and we uh, ask for it that's why I put it in block letters so you can see the working capital is 89,000 and when we take the total of the non-current assets and we add it to the working capital the working capital is a positive figure, so we get here. Now, if we take the current assets and we minus the current liabilities and we get a negative figure, or the current liabilities is greater than the current assets, then we will get a negative figure and um, we will have to minus it from there. That is called not working capital, but working capital deficit. Okay. So we have 522 here. From that, we take the non-current liabilities or long-term liabilities, and we will get one, we have 60,000. We get the total net assets. And we that is represented by the capital. How we know this is the capital? We have simply, we use the accounting equation of assets minus liabilities notice we minus the liabilities we minus the liabilities and we we added all the assets okay so we can be assured that our balance sheet will balance with these two figures here